All right, so today I'm going to go on this hike. It is 11 miles or 22 total. I've done it before, but I only got to eight. So this is attempt number two. And yeah, I'm just going I'm just going to do it on my own. We're going to see if I make it to the top. I should. I should have honestly started this like an hour ago, but now it's like 8.15, but it should be fine. But yeah. It's Cleveland National Forest. I'm about to end up deep as fuck. And like I've done hikes before, but I've never done one on my own. I probably shouldn't have picked one this long. Like there's definitely shorter ones I could have gone to. I'm like, this is I don't know. I at least want to finish this one. Every other hike I've done, I've finished, but also every other one I've done is significantly shorter. Like there was one in Malibu I did one time. It was it was probably like five miles. The view was nice, but like it, it really wasn't nothing. I feel like it took no time at all to do this. This is gonna be like all day. When I get home, I'm gonna be like crawling around and shit. Also, before I go any further, my name is Kaj. I've been making like YouTube and TikTok videos. Sorry about YouTube, didn't do TikTok and I streamed too. And this is just first video on this channel. Like I made, they all been gaming videos up until this point. It's just the vlog channel is something I wanted to do. Like I haven't even like mentioned to anybody that watches my stuff that I made this channel. I'm just gonna do it for a little while. See how much I stick with it. Cause to be honest, I don't have that much stuff to vlog. So I'm like, I don't really wanna gas it up if I don't have shit to do like this hike is literally just because of the vlog channel I, I didn't even have the thought to do this until I thought about doing the vlog channel again also my back is gonna be hurting crazy after this my lower back has been honestly it's gotten better it used to be fucking terrible especially when I had like this old hand-me-down office chair I would use at my desk and then I got a lot better of a chair and then just like working out more health and stuff just not sitting as for long periods of time but after this shit, uh, I'm not looking forward to that aftermath, but it, I already started, so it's too late now. I just realized I made a really dumbass mistake. I forgot to fill my fucking hydro. It's like half full. I'm like, I'm not drinking none until I get to the top, to be honest. And I'm like straight shining this. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to take a break. But yeah, that's kind of ass. I do have a, a energy drink because me and Celsius like this. Y'all should sponsor me in the future. Also, Celsius, I feel like that'd be pretty good. And your shock tea, if y'all ever make a a sugar-free uh, energy tea, hit me in the future. Thank you. Also, I've been seeing some of the tracks people left behind. Somebody did this hike in forces. Somebody walked 11 miles, 22 miles in Air Force Ones. And good luck to them. Cause like, what the fuck? The ankles probably turned like 30 times. All right, I've covered some distance now. I can still see neighborhood like in the distance, but that's okay. I have a weird feeling in my ankle, which is probably a bad sign because I'm only like a mile and some change in. But like being on, on the just on the internet for as long as it's been around, which is like YouTube and then Instagram and then now TikTok. One thing that annoyed me for the past year or or annoy me more than it used to. Well, it's just like how horny everything is. Like no matter what, no matter what it is, it's just like people would just sexualize fucking anything. It's like, God damn. Why does everything have to be horny? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like with TikTok, once they recognize you as a male, they would just show you hella ass to start you off until it realizes what you're actually into. Like that's how when I first got the app, I didn't know anything yet. That's how it literally started. I didn't even use the app much because of that. And then over time, I started to just like recognize like he's into fucking basketball and cars and gaming and shit. And then just slowly went away. But it's just like, why is that the default for everything? I know the phrase sex sells, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. Or even like I'll watch Twitch streams sometimes. And like they had a whole thing of artistic nudity because there were only fans girls on there having just on there pretty much naked and they would just have the camera right above their their nipples and it's like how did we get here like how did we get to a point where this is like considered because they they were allowing it and then people complained enough and then they finally said something about it or no, they tried to allow it like put a policy in for artistic nudity which isn't a new thing 
like YouTube has that. Like YouTube has it if you're painting a naked person, something like that, but they was stretching it on Twitch like a lot. And it was showing up on like everybody's home page because how many viewers they fucking had. They were pulling crazy amounts of people were talking about it on Twitter and everything. I was walking a pellet and kind while talking about that. So if I was breathing heavy, that's why. Also, side note, I need 20 V1s to be buried. Anyways, I think I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I said it earlier or not, but I don't know like what exactly I'm gonna vlog on here. Don't necessarily have a lot to vlog. Like I'm in college, I do DoorDash on the weekends. I'm trying to get a different job, but for now I'm still doing DoorDash. And I just make content all the time, like stream and post videos and stuff. And I'm like, if you thought about the vlog on campus, fuck no, that's not happening. So that's out. I vlog a little bit of, I went to the black flea market. So I've been fashioning shit too. And I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, obviously they're gonna have music blasting. So I'm not gonna be able to play any of that audio. So I'm like, all right, that. I could put like some clips in it, but clips of it in the video. But I'm like, that's not really something I can vlog either. I can show you what I got. What I did get was a nice ass jacket. I'll probably put it in right now. Bro, talking while doing this is making me breathe way heavier than the actual. Like when I was just chilling, just walking, I was fine. <laughs> Once I started talking, I'm like, damn. I get like, bro, when artists be performing, like dancing at the same time, like bro, they really, god damn. I knew it was hard, but like, fuck, I'm just walking. Granted, this is considered like a challenging hike, but still. But what I will for sure vlog is um, in, I forget if it's June or July. I think it's July. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. Some birds just like made a rumbling noise up there. But um, what I will for sure vlog is in late July, I'm going to Portland for a Formula E race. And then from there, I'm going to Denver. Just look at apartments. I wanted to live in Portland too, but they drug problem is completely out of fucking hand. Like homeless is bad in every major city. Like you can't really go to a West Coast city without it, to be honest, without it being bad. But Poland's on another level. If they would somehow improve on that before I move out, then yeah, I move there. But no. The other option is Tacoma, which is like a little south of Seattle. But I ain't got the funds for three stops. Two stops was a stretch in the first place. At first, it was just gonna be Portland for the for the race. But yeah, I ended up extending it to Denver. And I'll vlog both of those. It'll probably be one long video or it might be a two part thing, we're gonna see, but that's not till July, so. You know, we'll figure it out by then. All right, I walked for like probably an hour and a half without picking up the camera again, but like, look at this. I don't know how well, it'd be easier if I flip the camera, hold on. Like there was a forest fire here five years ago and it's still fucked, like, I know it doesn't go back to normal that quick, but it's, it is kinda sad. And I was like looking at this one mountain off in the distance and the clouds were moving towards it and it was just tripping me out it looked like it was moving away from me as i was standing still shit made me uncomfortable but i'm like seven miles in right now i think it's like 11 ish so i'll probably get there around one there's a dude that passed by me on a bike and then like maybe 15 minutes later he came back so i don't know if it's blocked up somewhere it was raining a lot so maybe there was like a a mudslide or something and blocking the path and i'm just not I ain't risking my life in no fucking vlog, bro. So, if that happened, I'll just, you know, turn around, but hopefully not. I think I just found my stick. Thing look official, hold on. This is exactly why I brought gloves. Bro, I look like the leader of, of something. I feel like if Lion King had people, this is what they would carry. This Don't this look like the fucking cliff they was on when he was like holding up <laughs> the, the, the baby? It is low-key heavy. I'm not going to carry this the whole way, but I'm going to rock with it for now because it's rocking with me. No, this bitch is dumb heavy. Yeah, I'm not doing this the whole time. This is this is, this is is too heavy. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this, bro. Maybe I'll pick it up on the way back, but that thing is, that's too much. It's tiring my arm out, and I only had it for like 30 seconds. I think I reached the top. Well, not the top top, but as far as I can go. There's a truck right there, and then there's another road close sign. I'm like, mm, 
we're going back. I put a screenshot up. I did like almost seven miles. There was like a little part of it that I didn't get in my little running app to track it. That I forgot about it, but yeah. Honestly, if I didn't do it today, I'm never gonna finish this trail. I don't see it happening. I feel like I'll just end up trying something, trying a different one. But like, solo hiking ain't bad. Like, look at this. I got decently high up. I wanted to get to the top. There's an alleged lake up there or river or something. And it's been like raining recently. So it's probably going to be at least a little bit of a something up there. But I, don't know, I guess that's why the dude on the bike that I saw, he did, came back so fast. I guess he got to that point. The good news is it'll be like three hours and I'll be back, back down at the bottom. Get to my curb, go home. And my thighs are up. The, the worst part about this is my most recent workout was leg day, so I was already sore coming up here. So choosing today was actually a shitty idea, but uh, oh well, already here. All right, so I'm like probably halfway back down, something like that. But bro, my pelvis or something on my right side is hurting for some reason. And like my feet hurt, but I mean, I've walked like 12 miles already, so. They really don't hurt that bad considering that, especially because I haven't done a hike in a long ass time. I don't even remember the last time. I know the camera's shaky as fuck when I'm walking down hills, so sorry. But yeah, I was, that was disappointing. I had already passed another gate that said like road closed or whatever. I just walked around it because it was pretty low to the spot. I'm like, I'm guessing it was there because of the rain. I'm like, it's been a while since it last rained. So I'm like, it's, it's, it was fine. Like it, up until that I got to like, when there was a truck there with a gate and then another gate behind that, I'm like, all right. Plus I couldn't tell if someone was actually in the truck or not and I didn't want to try it. I'd rather not. So I just turned around. I feel like one thing a hike will teach you is fucking patience to just walk for like however many hours this would have been if I went the full thing, probably like seven or eight, maybe longer, like nine or 10. I mean, I, I looked it up. Some sites said it was just, this would take like 12. I'm like, I guess if you're like stopping for breaks and shit, but I didn't stop for a break really. The only time I stopped was to take my hoodie off really. On the way down, I stopped like once for like five seconds. But yeah, it's uh, it's like one o'clock almost. And I already got to where I got to and I'm, now I'm halfway down. So I'm like, yeah, they are probably talking about taking breaks and all that. It is nice out here though. This looks like a fucking, that looks fake. Like I'm looking through the camera, like it looks, it don't, the sky don't look real. Look like I'm just green screen on this shit. Ah, fuck. There was also like two other people that passed me on bikes. I thought they would have came back down by now. But I, I guess maybe that first guy just didn't get to the top. He just ended up turning around, got tired or something. It's like, I'm pretty sure these other two that came barreling down past me already. This was a while ago. I was, I've been like bumping music this whole time for the most part. I just got like a speaker in my bag. And like one thing I didn't think I would do when I was in like high school, I thought I was just gonna be listening to rap and R&B all the time. Now I've been listening to like more like rock and whatever genre Pink Panther is. I still don't know what that is to this day, but that kind of style. And I guess like some pop and um, like Green Tea Pang, things like Lava, La Rue, that kind of music too. I'm like, it, like few, probably like four years ago. I don't, I don't see myself four years ago trying like listening to all them different types. It was really just rapping R&B, pretty much all the time. But anyways, I'll probably see you at the bottom because I'm getting there, and I'm like trying to walk slower while I record for the sake of me just not like doing that a lot, even if I still will, just because I can't really help it, but. Yeah, I'll see you when I get there. This was the gate that I was talking about that I passed. I just walked around the right side. But yeah, like three bikers came through. That The second one took a lot longer to come back than the first one. Like I was starting to get worried about him. Like is bro okay? Like did he fall or some shit? But he came down. They probably at the bottom by now to be honest. So I got like another, probably like mile and a half, maybe two to go. For real though, when I, I'll see you at the bottom. I made it, finally. 
you can't see the street yet, but it's like this little archway is the beginning. And we finally, my feet hurt like shit. My ankles cooked, fucking back, not booming, but it's getting there. But you can kind of see that white fence all the way over there, that's the street. But yeah, we here. I know it's a little all over the place, but it was my very first vlog. I don't know what I'm doing. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, we'll see you when the next one is, to be honest. Before July though, before that trip, it'll be before that. Maybe like, it's March? Shit, March, fuck. But you know, on, on February 28th, I thought it was January 28th the whole day. And I like tweeted, happy birthday, J. Cole. Yeah, it wasn't my brightest moment, but uh, bye. All right, so this is the black market flea I went to. It was in LA. And I guess it was also like right around the corner from LA Apparel's uh, factory store. And I mean like a couple minute walk away. I was I was surprised. I thought I was going to have to drive to it, which I wasn't looking forward to because LA be charging for parking everywhere you go. But yeah, this was the inside um, recording in public and recording on a hike. Two different things. I wasn't about to be full extended arm with the camera. So yeah, that didn't happen. And also they were, it was playing music in there and which I really, I knew, but I didn't think about as far as like the video. So that's why I'm just doing the voiceover now because uh, yeah, YouTube would not let any of this fly at all. But yeah, it's an indoor section in the front, which I almost thought after the first walk, I'm like, damn, is this it? And then I saw the door, I was like, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. But out the door, they had like a couple more vendors to the right and then it extended out to the left and kind of went into like a, T-shape, a lot of food, trucks and um, stands to the right and to the left, more vendors, and then it went out to like a performance area, turf to like sit down, so a couple extra vendors. And yeah, it was cool. I, I bought one thing, I bought that one jacket I showed you earlier. But besides that, it wasn't really, this was actually, I tended to vlog this before the hike. This was before the hike. And it didn't come out to be much. I just wasn't, I didn't record nearly enough. So I was like, all right, I'll just throw it on at the end of the hike instead of trying to do its own video when there's not enough for that. But yeah, it was cool. I would go back. I had to skip another day at work, but I need money. So that's why I don't go to it much. But with the jacket, I took some pics on IG. If you want to follow on there. And besides that, yeah, bye.